This week on Outdoor Bound TV. We travel to Montevideo, Minnesota for a late season Canada goose hunt with Maxed Out Guides. We also get a chance to sit down with David Troba, manager of the Lockie Powell Wildlife Area, to learn firsthand what long-term management steps this refuge took to become a major stop in the annual Canada Goose Migration Route. Oh yeah! All right. Awesome. What a big old beast. 75 yards. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Brew Pub Pizza, MBS, Meyer Recreational Buildings, and Real Deal Mineral. Cheese. That's right, cheese. We pile over a half pound of premium Wisconsin mozzarella on every brew pub pizza. Tavern style pizza that's all about the toppings. Large nuggets of zesty sausage, roasted vegetables, and sliced and diced pepperoni. Make brew pub pizza your choice for lunch, dinner, or late night snack. Brew pub pizza. Satisfying great taste every time. Pick up a brew pub pizza today. Available at your local grocer and tavern. Since 1999, McCuffsky Brush Service has been specializing in right-of-way clearing for power, gas, fiber optic, cable lines, and railroads. MBS is your complete brush and tree removal company, and we also clear woods roads and food plots. Whether working on residential tree trimming or commercial projects, MBS utilizes the most advanced equipment and environmentally friendly clearing methods available. MBS, clearing the way to reliable energy. Visit our website for more information. The 37th Annual Lacrosse Bowl Sports Travel RV and Hunting Show starts Thursday at the Lacrosse Convention Center on Stage Daily Street Corner Symphony. See live North American animals, attend fishing and hunting seminars, see travel trailers, fifth wheels, pontoon, boats, motors, and fishing accessories. Plan your next fishing trip or hunting trip. Don't miss the fresh Manitoba walleye homemade shore lunch in the deli. Hi everyone, I'm Kurt Walbeck, host of Outdoor Bound TV on ABC. Join me for the Lacrosse Boat Travel RV and Hunting Show this February. The best ever Lacrosse Boat Sports Travel RV and Hunting Show. Thursday through Sunday, Lacrosse Auditorium. Don't miss it. Real Deal Mineral. Deer eat it gone. Real Deal Mineral is the real deal. It contains less than 7% salt and more of the minerals deer need for proper gestation. And it's a great way to ensure that your deer are getting the proper vitamins and minerals they need to grow big horns. We started using Real Deal Mineral on our farm this year and the results, well, they speak for themselves. Real Deal Mineral. Check out our website or a dealer near you. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm your host, Kurt Walbeck. On this week's show, we travel to Western Minnesota. We're gonna be goose hunting with Maxed Out Guide Service. And then we go to Lackey Palm Wildlife Refuge, where we will learn a little bit about how they've helped improve the migration for Canadian geese. All right, folks, uh, it's early December here, and uh, we're just on the south side of the Lacaparo Refuge. We're two days after a big snowstorm, big cold front moved in. Uh, it's been bitterly cold the last few days. Temperatures, uh, I don't know if they've broken zero uh, in the last two days. And uh, we're just here off the lake about a mile. Uh, the last couple days, the birds have really been pushing off the refuge to the south. They're actually roosting. Uh, they've got two holes open on the south side of the refuge. so. We're uh, underneath them where they've been the last few days and we put out a real nice spread. We've got some, sleep, uh, some sleepers behind us here. Uh, we've got feeders up front that are, uh, we're trying to imitate, you know, an aggressive feed up front and some content geese behind us. And uh, we put out a pretty sizable spread. We probably got about 250 decoys out here today. Uh, we got three guys calling, a couple guys flagging and uh, should be a good hunt.
Yeah, yeah. Once, Chase. Okay. Drop back in. Four. Well, today we're in western Minnesota. We're goose hunting with Maxed Out Guide Service. Now, the weather is very, very cold. It's about four degrees below zero air temperature. And there's a slight westerly breeze, so it's making it awful chilly in these layout blinds. But we're just moving some of the decoys around a little bit. We've got quite a few bunches of birds that are working the area. So uh, we're gonna try to bunch up these decoys a little bit. We're gonna climb back in these layout blinds and see if we can get some of these geese to come in after us. They're pretty tall, but I don't know if they're going to come back around. All three shots. Nothing but feathers. Hi, I'm Graham Gressett. I own uh, Maxed Out Guides. Uh, we guide right here on the shores of Lac Caparle. Um, I was born and raised right here on the refuge. Uh, this is actually our, we're filming from our family farm today where, uh, where I grew up goose hunting. We really hunt in, in three main areas. Uh, we guide obviously here on Lac Caparle, um, and we also guide in the metro of Minneapolis, right in the west metro. Uh, we also are starting to guide in South Dakota as well for ducks and geese, and then also spring snow geese in the, uh, in the spring. As a guide, you're finding birds. Well, the nice thing about hunting a refuge is you know where the birds are going to be. You know, you know where they're going to wake up in the morning, where they're going to go to bed at night. So traditionally, when people come out, there's a few different ways that we hunt them. Uh, we do a lot of layout blind hunting. We like layout blinds because it allows us to go where the geese want to be. Um, you know, we can pick up, and we're frequently able because of just being from the area. Uh, we lease a lot of land. We also have a lot of landowner access that we get we get on just being from the area. And we're frequently able to set up feeds that you know birds have been in the day before. So it's a cornfield, and there was 5,000 geese in there the day before, and we're there with our decoys and our layout blinds the next day. We also hunt out of pits. Pits are really nice in these late season environments when it's cold. I mean, I don't know if it's broken zero today. And we're able to get down in a, a blow ground out of the wind in a nice heated pit. We've got sunflower heaters going. We're keeping everybody warm. We're killing geese. It's been, a, you know, and, and those are really some of the most funs we have because those, those heated pit hunts are a really social hunt. It's a good time.
All right, well, we're on the board. Could you, could you get him a little faster next time? Yeah. We're getting sweaty in this pit. It's you wanna go hot. next time? Wow. Oh, I didn't say that. Yeah. I look like Adrian Peterson going across the field. Boy, it's chilly, no dog today, so looks like I'm the dog for today, but we just had a nice group of honkers work us. Kind of came to the backside. It came into about 20 yards and we laid the hammer down. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Otter Outdoors, Markham Technologies, Strike Master Ice Augers, and Weiss Realty. The new extreme thermal shelters from Otter feature a new look and unmatched protection from the elements. The fully insulated Pro XT 1200 features a 1200 denier shell built for extreme conditions, while the Thermal Top XT 650 features a 650 denier shell that locks in heat and eliminates condensation. All extreme thermal shelters are built on Otter's legendary roto molded sled and proven oversized square tube frames. The all new extreme thermal shelters from Otter, built tougher, stronger, smarter. Markham Technologies introduces ice fishing to the digital age with the LX Digital Sonar System. Boasting vivid color LCD displays and features not found on other ice electronics, all digital units offer a user-defined display tailored to match the way you fish, an on-screen dashboard that puts critical information at your fingertips, and free firmware updates that guarantee your electronics are never outdated. This winter, step into the digital age with an LX Series Digital Sonar Unit from Markham Technologies. Honda power and reliability have been combined with StrikeMaster's legendary ice cutting technology to produce the 35cc Honda Light. Powered by a powerful and efficient engine, the 35cc Honda Light offers first pull reliability and weighs in at a feather light 23 pounds when equipped with an 8 inch laser auger. This winter, pick up a Honda 35cc Light from StrikeMaster, the most reliable and fastest cutting four stroke auger on the ice. Weiss Realty will find the perfect property for you. The entire Weiss team of agents brings expert knowledge from every aspect of the outdoors and specializes in hunting land in rural properties. Whether it's hunting, fishing, farming, logging, or construction, we have the answers to your questions. Buying or selling, hunting or farmland? Contact a land specialist from the Weiss team today. Weiss Realty, we cover a lot of ground. My name is David Trouba. I'm the Wildlife Area Manager for the Lacapro Wildlife Management Area, and I've been at Lacapro for 21 years. My job is pretty much overall habitat and population work. Habitat is a big part of our job. Prairie wetland management. We are very much in the heart of the prairie of Minnesota. So uh, originally the western one-third of Minnesota was a sea of grass, 18 million acres of native prairie. Uh, today, less than 1% of that remains. You know, trying to make our grasslands as attractive to nesting waterfall, upland game birds, a whole suite of prairie wildlife species. Um, wetland work is huge. Shallow lake management, we got both Lacapro Lake, Marsh Lake, and that's critical. Marsh Lake is a lake in decline. Lacapro, you know, we're in this upper Minnesota river watershed. It's a huge migratory corridor. So really our job here at Lacapro is to make it just as absolutely attractive as we can for migratory waterfall. Well, we really had our start back with the flood control project in the 1930s, which was the largest work project administration flood control effort, I think at, in the United States at the time. Water conservation, flood control, and then the other one was public hunting and fishing and wildlife benefits. Those were the four main drivers between the flood control project. So in 1957, Lack of Pearl Wildlife Area really got its beginnings when those lands were officially transferred over. And that's where our project boundary began. And since 1957, we've been acquiring adjacent properties 
So we started out at 20,000 acres, and now we're up around 33,000 acres on the Lacoparle unit. In the first few years, just 100 some birds stopping at Lacoparle, and then it was 500 geese. Then the 60s, you know, it was 5,000, then 20,000. So it slowly started building inertia. And then the same thing, the, you know, we're getting geese that were staying here. Eventually the ones that were all pen reared and wing clip were allowed to feather out and fly off, but they would come back, raise young. You're just slowly building that giant canned goose population. At the same time, you're becoming a stopover for migratory canned geese. So then you get in the late 60s and now things are starting to gel and now we're getting 20, 30,000 geese here at Lacoparle. And then the hunters started to show up. And back in those days, there was no state blinds. It was just stand behind the telephone pole, stand in the road ditch. And, and that's what people were doing, you know. So then in the 70s, you know, now things are starting to really gel. Now it's 70, 80,000 geese and even more hunters are showing up. A lot of hunters are showing up. So then in 1974, the first state blinds came in. Now going back in 1976, it was probably a 30 some day season, one bird limit. We had 12,000 people come through our building for goose blinds. That's 364 people per day. It's just a phenomenal number for people coming out here goose hunting. And again, a one bird limit. But they shot a lot of geese out of the state blinds. Back in those days, they were probably shooting over 2,000 geese out of the state blinds alone. I mean, our seasons back then were very short. It's 20 day seasons, one bird goose limit, compared to 85 days and three bird stays. So there's a lot more opportunity. We have around 98 blinds around the refuge perimeter. And we have four drawings throughout the day. Two part raffle ticket. You come in, you put your ticket in the drum, we spin it, if I call your number, you get the first choice to walk up to that blind map and pick whatever blind your heart desires. So you gotta choose wisely, you know. And we would just keep doing that until all the hunters are out, out hunting. We run our controlled hunt through the 30th of November. And then on 1 December, our goose hunting blinds become available first come, first serve. Meaning you don't have to come here and register with us. Drive around the perimeter, you see a blind open, park in the designated lot, go out and goose hunt. This is prairie background, this is farm country, this is where we should be goose hunting. I think that's a lot to be said for lack of all too. 40, 50,000 geese coming off the refuge, that's fun to watch. And it's a natural area. So I tell people how well we manage and take care of what we have here is really gonna mean what species do we have present in Minnesota 20 years from now. cold morning here in the first week of December. We're here in western Minnesota with maxed out guides now. We're going to be hunting goose today and the wind chills are about 25 below zero. I think the air temp is right at zero and there's about a 25 mile an hour wind and it's really really cool. Now we don't have the perfect day. It's actually kind of clear today. The sun's out and like I said it's really cool but we're going to try to get this set out and see if we can entice some of these big geese to come and land in our set. Stick with us. here it's uh it's the first week of December we're out here just off the Lac Pearl Refuge about a mile and a half uh, big snowstorm yesterday uh, a lot of ice real cold and uh, luckily we're in one of these heated pits here we've got a big spread set up uh, you'll see was got a lot of uh, our sleeper shells out it's real cold birds like to uh, come out and feed they'll sit down they'll land the first thing they'll do is they'll plop down and they'll tuck their head under their wing 
and uh, and uh, basically they do that to kind of warm up the ground underneath them so they can get at some of the food. So we've got a big old spread of sleeper uh, shells out. We got a couple of holes right in front and right in back. We're uh, we're calling at them pretty hard and flagging pretty hard, and uh, they've been pretty friendly. So we got about an hour of shooting time left here. We're hoping to uh, fill out a limit. So those birds are going to come in into that west wind. They've got two holes to land in, either front or back. We're going to flag them real hard to the ground, um, and you know, so we want them to key in on those flags because ideally we want to fin them, finish them on that front side there in that front hole. Uh, and we'll probably call them real aggressively all the way to the ground. When geese get on the ground, when it's cold, it's a very, ter very territorial bird. Um, when they're feeding, they make a lot of noise, and it's not, hey friend, come feed with me. It's get out of here leave me alone. So when geese hear that chatter, they know that there's birds on the ground that are getting after it and, and uh, strapping on the feed bag, so that's what we're hoping to take advantage of. So for people that are just getting into the sport of, of goose hunting, um, there's really a few things that, that you're going to need to get um, to be able to have a successful hunt. Number one, you obviously have to find a population of birds. You're going to need some decoys. Eventually you're going to need to invest in layout blinds. Layout blinds just allow you to get more, you know, they allow you to get into the field where the birds are wanting to be. You definitely need to invest in a flag. Flags are what we use to, you know, mimic that motion of Canada geese coming to the ground. It's an attention drawer, even more so than the calls a lot of times. The other thing that we'd recommend is, is picking yourself up a short read call. Any call that a Canada goose makes, you can make with these short read calls. There's do-it-yourselfers out there that, that try and try and try to do it themselves, and we pick up so many customers from people that just say, you know, we've been going out here, we're hunting, I need to get my kids some shooting or I'm gonna lose them. And that's where hiring an, uh, you know, a guide like myself really uh, comes in as a big benefit because we have all the stuff. We have the experience, we have the knowledge, we have the land, we have the decoys, we have professional callers on our staff, we have you know, more decoys than I really care to know about. The other big benefit of hiring a guide is like I said, this is we're out in the field all the time. Um, so we're able to follow the birds, we're able to follow their patterns, we know what they're doing. Um, Weather changes in the fall happen pretty rapidly. Birds come in, birds move out, birds move around. But as a guide, that's really why you know you invest in a guide is to be able to stay on top of them to give yourself the best opportunity at a successful hunt. Growing up out here, I mean, I really grew up in a goose hunting family. Um, it is something that's really special to me because as a family, we really look forward to it every year. And it was all organized and kind of coordinated by my mom. So when I talk about, you know, they talk about who really influenced you. How did you get into goose hunting? Well, it was my mom. She was a farm wife that happened to establish what was really kind of a goose hunting empire uh, back in the 80s. And she was really my mentor, uh, not only you know in life, but in this business. Um, she, uh, and she never shot a goose in her life. My mom passed away this summer, and uh, doing things like this in the area are things that I always know she would have been, she'd been very proud of. Uh, she would have just really enjoyed having um, people out and she just, like I said, she just loved the hunters and she loved the people. That's really what my goal is, is to kind of, you know, to continue to evolve this guide service where, you know, we grow up with hunters. So it's my goal to really just keep on and, and continue with that legacy um, that my mom started. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission by Matthews, True Fire Releases, Tacticam, and G2 Outdoor Products. This is my life, the weekend warrior. 
No more production lines or deadlines. This is why I work five days a week. I need speed, power, precision. I expect no less than the best. This is my best. This is my chance. This is my mission. Simple, efficient, powerful. Mission by Matthews. Well, Mark, I gotta hand it to you. I am loving my True Fire Hardcore. I wouldn't steer you wrong, brother. Not only is this thing extremely accurate on the range, its features are deadly in the field. What I noticed, whether you're sweating shooting does in the early season or shivering when that late season buck comes in, that jaw cannot come off that loop. I love my True Fire Hardcore. Wait, what do you got there? That's a hardcore forefinger. Give me that. Not this time, brother. <laughs> the True Fire Hardcore, available at your local retailer. Ben, what do you have on the front of your bow? This is the new Tacticam HD video camera and bow stabilizer, all in one. It features one touch easy recording in a waterproof housing. And it comes with universal mounting with a rechargeable battery. Film your hunt hands-free in full HD. That's incredible. Where do you find those? Tacticam is available to purchase on our website or at an outdoor retailer near you. Tacticam, share your hunt. Fishing equipment provided for Outdoor Bound TV by these fine sponsors. If you're interested in hunting with Graham Grayseth and Maxed Out Guides, their contact information is on the screen. Or you can check them out on Facebook. Accommodations for Outdoor Bound TV provided by the Sportsman Inn of Montevideo, Minnesota. Hey guys, thanks again for the great time there in western Minnesota. It was a cold couple days, but we had a lot of fun goose hunting. And Dave, keep up the great work helping with these Canadian geese and the migration and helping to increase the numbers in western Minnesota. Folks, join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the Midwest, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. This one? Oh, this first one. Right okay. Here Ready? Here, how's that? Har, 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 har. And this is what, beer commercial now or what? Even funnier when it's not you. That work. And you're watching Upboard now. Outward Bound Teeth. You're watching Outboard. Goose hunting where in Western Minnesota? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to say Outboard Downed. Okay, are we ready? Kind of like my mission hat better. And is that it? We are 